half past 11 on the Degeneration's last request. And now it's over live to Gino Tagliatoni with a very special friend. Thank you very much, Senor Fett. You know, there's a saying that says, behind every great man is a great woman. Well, Chief, behind this great man is a great set of wheels. And after all these months of working here at Eon FM, I reckon it's high time that my Monaro had her say, Midnight Orange, how are you today? You dragged off anything uh, decent recently? You kidding, Torana SLX? With 202 hold and six cylinder? Midnight Orange, thanks for talking with me. Enjoy the rest of the day. That's it from me, Chief. Dr. Doolittle used to talk to the animals. Dr. Tagliatoni can talk to the V8 engines. Way to go, man! And now, please welcome Kelvin Cunnington and the State Bank Accounts Payable Corral. It's one of my favorite songs. Song is in Don't Get It. Did I win? or been so blue. Oh, this song's good. Listen to this one. Did I what? Here we go. Come over you. Someone new. A day that made my brown eye blue. Brown eye. <laughs> I'll be fine when you've gone. Don is in Don. Get it, Don. I'll just cry all night long. How long was that? How long? As in, <laughs> say it isn't true. True as in two, as in number two. Day that made my brown eye Get it, Brown Eyes, and what we do at Great Kipple. Drop But not for much longer, Eon explodes at 12 o'clock. And to accelerate that, we've got a very special feature now. You might remember a certain wheel segment on The Breakfast Show, Absolutely. which was uh, axed. Criminally axed. Rather a uh, popular I'm move. Sorry, yeah. Yes, and that sharing. That sharing signals Murray's wheel, the original wheel used on the breakfast show for all those tedious months, yes, has been brought right. onto stage. Now, Murray, what's going on here? Are you well, gonna... look, public demand has prevailed, after all. I've had, I've had letters, telegrams, text say, bring back the bloody wheel, and it's coming back. It'll be on the morning show on Triple M, on the drive show, yes. the afternoon show. Right, OK. Yeah, so. Now now we're going to do a wheel segment here live, we are we, We certainly Mary? are. May I, may I ask my barrel girl, Jane Kennedy, to bring up the lucky contestant? Yes, we've selected a contestant from the vast crowd here today. And who is this person? Our contestant fat man is John Baromeo. He's a student from Chisholm Institute. And John enjoys all water sports, hang gliding and listening to Carly Minogue. Is this oh, true? Oh, good. Let's give him a hand. Yeah. Okay, Good now what you, are the John. fabulous prizes that John stands to win on Amongst Murray's Wheel? Among the prizes John could win this morning is a set of rings for an Austin A40. Some medicinal mm. diet ale. A pension of travel cards slightly used. Boxes, staples, or a bottle of Coddy's 50-50 cordial. Right, now, what happens next? He spins the wheel, does he? John, please, give the, give the legendary Murray's wheel your best spin. Ah, oh, no, come on, mate, come on. Give it a, give it a go. Put some effort into it, for goodness sake. It's uh, pretty visual, I'm afraid, folks, at home listening. Oh, yes, but that familiar wheel sound. Yeah! Oh! It's a liner, it's a liner. Oh, hang on. It's a number three, is no, it? No, we've actually run out of number three. Go to number 13. <laughs> um, John, you in fact, what, what, what do you tell us about yourself? Get, get to the microphone, John. What do you do for a living, mate? Oh, I'm a student. Student, yeah, I'm a student. You student, University of Life, that sort yeah. of thing. Well, John, my friend, you have not, mm. in fact, won the trip to Great Keppel Island, as oh. I promised, uh, but you have won a box of staples. There you are. And here for a lucky winner in the crowd is a personally signed box of Murray's, Murray Staples. Come up to me after and I'll sign it with your name. There you go. Careful. Oh, well, wonderful. that certainly has to be one of the most tedious three minutes of radio I've ever heard. Oh, so very So please stay night. tuned. We'll be back after this. Here's a hunk.
Hungry Jack's Whopper bonus offer you can refuse. Buy a Whopper burger, regular Coke, and small fries, and you'll get a large Coke and a large fries. Now that's a Whopper bonus offer. Large Coke and fries for the price of regular Coke and small fries with every Whopper. But hurry to Hungry Jack's now. Offer ends December 7th. You know about his pants for her. The man style undies everybody's getting into. Well now, the blokes can get their own back. Everybody's getting into them. Richard East presents the eagerly awaited return of Courtney Pine, acclaimed as the UK's most important jazz musician to emerge in the last decade. The Courtney Pine Quartet plays Melbourne on Sunday 4th of December at the Universal Amphitheatre. After last year's sellout shows, it's essential to book now. Don't miss the chance to hear this gifted young sax player. The Courtney Pine Quartet at the Universal Amphitheatre on Sunday 4th of December. Tickets are on sale now at the theatre and all bass outlets. Hey dudes, you're cruising around, you want some sound, Essendon Car Radio is the best in town. For the best brands, the best service, the lowest prices, see Pete and the guys, they'll do you right with dude deals like Kenwood Radio Cassette, Digital Auto Reverse and Tape Search, $299. But we're cool, we'll install free. You'll save 200 bucks. The ECR three-day sale ends today at 5 o'clock, 160 Kilo Road, North Essendon. Be there before 5. Guys on girls drinking. Well, some of them don't know when to stop. It's yeah. hard to respect a girl who gets drunk. Mm. I once had one throw up in me helmet. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Let's face it, girls who drink, they're not the ones you get serious yeah. about. Yeah, I mean, who wants to go out with a girl who gets so drunk she'll sleep with anyone? Well, oh, actually, actually, hang on. Hang on. Um, no, you're uh, come to me. Yeah. Alcohol. It can turn a girl like you into someone quite popular, really. And uh, that very brief pause was brought to you as part of the Remembrance Day celebrations, <laughs> lest we forget. And I'd just like to remind you that at midday, as well as the many bands appearing on stage, comedians will be putting in an appearance. Richard Stubbs and Tazzy, <laughs> the Hot Bagels, Peter Ralston, Simon Thorpe, the fabulous Bob Down, and of course the sex god himself, Victorian Health Minister David White. Coming up on tonight's TV, a bumper crop of brand new programs, starting with Parking Infringement, she wrote. Tonight, a shock-loading zone offence leads lovable meter maid Jessica on a trail of expired meters and unpaid fines. It's Excitement Plus, as you, the audience at home, are asked to guess who owns the light brown valiant. That's followed by a brand new current affairs show. Yes, it's Valheim at seven, with the lovable alleged Nazi war criminal presenting 30 minutes of impartial commentary. The wonderful world of Disney returns at 7.30 with the incredible journey of Biffo and Boffo, two lovable and mischievous seals who travel 4,000 miles through the Canadian Rockies only to get run over by a truck. <laughs> at 8.30, don't miss the new series of Tour of Duty. Tonight, lovable Bravo Force have a special new mission. They've got just one hour to infiltrate the Viet Cong and sell as many copies of the spin-off soundtrack album as possible. Finally, the first in a new series, Great Composers of the Past. Tonight, Gary Newman. Hot Trams Electric There's electricity electric is my bomb electric? 
It's all coming up on tonight's TV. on FM, the last request live in Bank Street and on the stage behind me, members of Cattle Truck warming up. Yes, it's looking like we are the world here. Some other Australian legends on stage. Les Gock, I spotted him up the back before, William Shakespeare and legendary taste guitarist Joey Amenta, possibly going to be putting in a guest appearance. Meanwhile, it's over to Tommy G for an emergency announcement. Indeed, Fat Man, we've had a major disaster up here just outside the main hot dog stand. Murray Beckworth's bag has exploded. We've got ground staff mopping up, members of the SES are being flown in, but all I can say from now is keep back. It's an absolute catastrophe. Looking for a new or used Holden, Ford, Toyota, Datsun, Wolseley, Peugeot, Combine Harvester, Wheelbarrow or set of roller bearings? Yes? Then Ted Cranwell of Ted Cranwell Motors has gone absolutely crazy! 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 Yes, with every new Falcon, Skyline or Nissan Exa, zany Ted's doubling the price for no apparent reason! Crazy! Crazy! Plus, if you buy one of loony Ted Cranwell's new or used cars between now and December 1986, He'll throw in free a glove box full of decomposing fish. Crazy, crazy! And you'll be amazed when you check under the bonnet of one of Unstable Ted's factory bonus Commodores. That's right, he's removed the engine. Crazy, crazy! But that's not all, because when you drive away in one of dangerously psychotic Ted Granwell's new or used cars, you're in for a big surprise, because psychopathic Ted has severed the brake hoses on Chimera and Telstar wagons. Crazy! Crazy. And as part of criminally insane Ted Cranwell's special Charles Manson deal, he'll shove a burning rag into the petrol tank and leave a dead body across the back seat of every Toyota Celica. Yes, crazy Ted Cranwell Motors, right opposite Royal Park Mental Home, up the end of St Kilda Pier, LMCT. Yes, that sound tells us that it's getting very close to midday when that historic moment, of course, when Eon FM becomes Triple M. And you can see up behind me that rather strange looking device there, that looking like part of the set of Doctor Who. Well, that is in fact the switch which will be pulled, which will change us from Eon to Triple M. We'll all be sucked down the other end of the dial. The crowd here will feel that movement as we all get sucked down to 105.1. And yes, the portable toilets here in Bank Street are overflowing with excitement at this prospect. In fact, that was just me, I think, actually. Actually, it's a very dangerous-looking crowd here, and um, I should point out the fire exits here in Bank Street, that end and that end. If there's a fire, run for those exits. And, of course, uh, a few other safety instructions. If there's a tidal wave, it's a good idea to move your car. And uh, if there's an earthquake, stand under a doorway, of course. It's always a good move. And also, if the person next to you... Now, it's, it's not easy to get out of this crowd. If the person next to you starts choking... It's a good idea what you do if they start choking, stick your finger down their throat. That always stops them from vomiting. Let's all try that now. The person next to you, just stick the finger down the throat. Let's see if we've got those safety instructions right. Okay, well, I am, of course, padding out till the top of the hour. And uh, to help us pad out till the top of the hour, when that historic moment occurs, Murray Beckworth is going to tell us what he's found in the I've crowd today. I've got some absolutely top quality rubbish here. Look, I've even picked up a telephone. Oh, yeah, and I've got hundreds of them. They won't be needing them anymore. I've got cans, bottles, an absolute smorgasbord out there. We'll be auctioning off this stuff, of course, later on today. I should just point out about the concert, which will be occurring any moment now. Yes, uh, let's see, there's only about 45 seconds to go. Is that hey, Senor Fett, can I just say something? One minute, 45. Can I just say something? If anybody wants their cars impounded, I'm going to be running some uh, illegal streetcar dragging behind here later on, so um, come down there if you want to get rid of your car. That will, of course, be happening after the historic concert with Cattle Truck. Uh, Johnny Diesel and Hunters and Collectors appearing live on stage here. Oh, 30 seconds to go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get everyone to help with the countdown. Murray Beckworth is going to flick the switch, and it's 15 seconds to go. 12, 
11, everybody. 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ladies and gentlemen, on July 11, 1980, Australia's first commercial FM radio station went to air. That station was Eon FM. Since that time eight years ago, Eon has helped change the face and style of Melbourne radio. The advent of FM brought innovation and excitement to radio, and with that encouragement and support to the local music scene. The results of which have helped put some of the homegrown talent onto the playlists and charts of the world. Eon FM can be justifiably proud of its achievements, and now comes a new era in Melbourne broadcasting. On this day, the 27th of November 1988, Eon is changing its name and frequency. From now on, Eon FM becomes 3 Triple M and will broadcast on the frequency of 105.1. Triple M will be setting the pace of Melbourne Radio for the 1990s and beyond. I want to give my personal thanks to all the staff, past and present, some of whom have been here from the beginning for their untiring dedication and maintaining the high standard of broadcasting that Eon FM has enjoyed over the years. In particular, I'd like to wish station manager Wayne Regan and his team of people for all the best for the future. The first song that was played on air eight years ago was New Kid in Town by the Eagles. Our first song on Triple M will be New Sensation by In Excess. This in itself is significant of sh and shows how the Australian music industry has come of age. Now, in Melbourne, it's time for the age of Triple M, Melbourne's oldest but now newest FM radio station. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on 105.1, Australia's newest FM rock radio station, Triple M. Thank you. <laughs> John Farnham on Triple M FM 105. Hi, this is Jerry Harrison from the group Talking Heads. Hi, this is Daryl Bright. Hello, this is Sting on Triple M. Hi, this is Stephen Cummings. This is Ivor Davies. This is uh, David Gilson on Pink Floyd. Hello, it's Jimmy Barnes here, and you're listening to Melbourne's newest radio station. Triple M. Hi, this is Martha Davis. Hi, this is John Bon Jovi. I'm Whitney Houston. Yeah, this is Johnny Diesel here. Hello, this is Robert Craig. This is John O'Trady. This is uh, Alice Costello on Triple M, I think. This is David Bowie. Hi, this is Timothy William Farris, and I'm from an excess, and I'm here to welcome Triple M to Melbourne. The new sensation. <laughs> to a Triple M Music Marathon. 105 minutes of commercial free stereo. This is uh, David Gilmore on Triple M off of Pink Floyd.
Hi, this is Gary. And Derek. We're from 1927, and you're listening to Melbourne's newest radio station, Triple M. Hi, this is Mark Seymour of Hunters and Collectors, and you're listening to the station that triples your music, Triple M, FM 105. Triple M, Melbourne's newest radio station with the band will be on a little later on this afternoon. It's 18 to 1. Hello, it's Jimmy Barnes here, and you listen to Melbourne's newest radio station. This is uh, Triple M 105. Keep on rocking. With Annie Lennox and the Reverend Al Green from the movie Scrooge. Put a little love in your heart. It's one o'clock and a 105 minute music marathon from Triple M. (laughs) 